probably the biggest highlight, I would say, of the past two years. The Cerebral has been Entertainment and Podcast. And you, you, don't, you don't know when it's going to not be the headline anymore, right? It's like as soon as it, as soon as it feels like we've got a, a grasp on it. Oh, it, it, there's a surge halfway across the country in it, it again. And it, yeah. What do we? I, I'm. We, we talk, well, I know we've talked about this and we've dug, we butchered it and everything, but I don't. I, I'm so torn between, like, and it's so much worse because I have a newborn mm-hmm. that I want. Like, I'm on the more conservative side with it. Like, you can't not live your life at all because of this and then my wife's on the other side like i'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that i'm i'm taking care of my son right because i couldn't live with myself if he if if i could have done done anything even if it would even if he's around someone that has it she's gonna put it on herself that i could have not let him be around that person yeah or whatever you know and you know it's going to be a little easier now because the holidays are over with. We've gotten through the holidays and all of that, you know, mess is kind of yeah go- gone for now. Uh, so we don't have to necessarily be around a bunch of people or mm-hmm. anything like that. I mean, we did cancel not because of COVID, but because of sickness. We did cancel our Christmas with like extended family and stuff like that this year. Um, we just did close family and the uh, I, I've I heard some interesting stories about people who with newborns who are actually making like basically telling their family, if you want to be around our kid, I want you to go get tested and mm. um, like um, right before. And, you and have I to want to wear and, a full Tyvek suit uh-huh. from head to toe. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I want to see the, the negative test and yeah. you know, that those kinds of things. And I know that sounds exaggerated, but I don't know that it, it should be, you know, well, I mean, you know, that's, it's interesting because it, it's kind of counter, counterintuitive to what we're used to with with kids now newborns are a little different you're you're a little more careful with newborns but kids in general i mean they're they're supposed to be playing in dirt you know Mm -hmm. they're they're little bacterium germ magnets Mm -hmm. you know because they're supposed to get sick so their immunities can build up covid's kind of changed things Mm -hmm. it's kind of changed things for everybody i hadn't seen your son in a while and i've noticed myself today just not want, still not want to get too close. Uh-huh. And I get tested all the time. You yeah. know, it, it's inherent within my job, but I still just want to be so careful, you know, mm-hmm. because he's still so little. COVID's changed the way that we, we look at things, you know, and it's, you know, usually I hear this talked about a lot, you know, back in the day when we were kids, when it came to chicken pox, you know, parents, and I don't know if they still do this, but they would have like chicken pox parties or, or whatever. They, they didn't. Yeah. They didn't shelter you from getting chicken pox because you wanted to get it when you were a small kid. Right. Sucked while you had it, but it's a lot better than getting it later. And once you got it, you're, you know, you've got your immunities built up. Your antibodies are built up, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Right. Um, we're not like that with COVID, you know, because it's such a scary thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though, you know, I, it's not nearly as bad for kids uh, in general. Once again, newborns are a little bit different. Yeah. But I think, you know, once you get past that year mark in two years, uh, there's very little evidence that it's it's that dangerous for kids like it is for adults. Did your kids have it? COVID? No. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if they did. I don't think they have. I was, it seems like a month or two ago, I was having this conversation with my wife about this. I don't remember the last time that I heard of someone, even someone's kids getting chicken pox. Don't they give vaccines for that now? I mean, is that why? I think so. I know, that might be a stupid question. I, I believe so. I, I believe don't... you get chicken pox vaccines now in, 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 in ki- your, okay. in the, the cocktail of vaccines you get now oh, as a kid. I okay. believe that's one of them. Okay. Because it's a good question. I, I, I got it in kindergarten. I remember it. But is like that like a, is that like a one one and done lifetime? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Huh. I guess so. But yeah, it's a good question. You made me think about. It. I was like, I don't think my kids have had it, but I do think it's it's a. And I could be wrong. I have to look it up to be for sure. I might be talking so, about I mean, my yin yang. I mean, if that's the case, it would have had to have been like in the not so distant past that that vaccine came out, right? Yeah. Because we're talking, like you just said, you know, they used to have like parties to where they wanted their kids to get it and get over it, right? Kind of thing. But that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I had it when, it, like I said, when I was in kindergarten. So that you know, roughly thirty five, thirty six years ago. Yeah. So it was that long ago. It was still a thing. Huh. 
I don't know, man. It's it's a it, it's funny how we get caught off track like that. We don't even realize some of the things that are going on now. And I, their mom would know, yeah, uh, whether or not they got a chicken pox vaccine. <laughs> Um, it's not necessarily on my radar, but yeah, it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, COVID's kind of changed things. Mm-hmm. It's turned everybody upside down. You want to be super careful, but you know, there's there's a lot of people also saying in a way that's that's also what's it's a it's a double sided coin, you know, because mm-hmm. yeah, we want to be safe. You don't want to be the one to to get grandma sick and have her pass away on you. But at the same time, we're we're not like getting out there as much and getting through all this. Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of like building up those antibodies. Like over time, isn't that what, how this is going to have to happen? 